Hi and welcome to Car and Mechanical and this is my fourth 3D printed car parts video and it's for a crankcase ventilation cap could also be known as a closed crank case ventilation cap or breather cap so I'm going to look at the existing cap I had on the car and it was broken, it had been glued a couple of times but I decided I needed to design and print a new one which I'm doing here so this is the time lapse of the print now I designed the cap in an evening or so in CAD the cap is made pretty much to be within line the same kind of measurements as the existing cap but maybe the walls might be a bit thicker because of the material I'm printing it and can go a little bit soft so on the 3D printer itself it's printed about 40 to 50 millimeters a second and it's printed about 190 to 200 degrees I'm going to pop the details on screen as well for you as well as a link to the model in the description so just around some of the decisions I made when making this um, you can see there's little kind of odd looking bits at the bottom those are actually supports and I decided that I was going to try and uh, recreate the original angles on a CCV cap however a bit later on I'll make a bit of a decision to change this and I'll come back to that. Part of the other reason I decided to go ahead and make the print and design the part was I didn't actually fancy spending anywhere between 10, 20, maybe plus pounds from Audi or eBay to buy something that I knew I could make and utilise the printer for. And I think that's one of the really cool things that I'm looking forward to seeing more of is that I think as more and more people buy 3D printers you've got all of these simple plastic parts that fit onto cars that don't bear with the structure of it that will uh, allow people to replace parts that they break or you know wear out. So that's the print finished. We're just going to take a bit of a look at it and going to comment on a few things. So you can see the supports underneath and we can see a little bit of string in there. I'm not bothered about the string, that's going to come straight off and this is a functional part. So these are the supports I mentioned. They literally pull straight off and we're going to take a bit of a closer look at the cap. So if we look at it here, this is after a quick test fit, so that's why it's got some of the old finger marks on it. You can sort of see it's actually come out fairly smooth. And these bits under here that are a bit ragged uh, is because of where the supports were and they, the print itself isn't actually fully supported. I'm going to change that, and again, I'll come back to that at the end. But what I want to do is get the cap on. So let's take the old one off. Now, the first test of the new cap is, would it fit? So as I grab the new cap and pop that on, I'm quite happy that it fits exactly down straight into where it should do. Now one thing I could have done is I could have put a lip on where the silicone hose needs to go on to and that would have held it in a bit more firmly and I might do that in a future revision. Now to keep it on I'm actually going to use zip ties. I'm going to come back there and literally it, it went straight on, I zip tied it on I had it on the car for a couple of weeks. Now the cap was printed in PLA and PLA has got melting point anywhere from 180 to about 220 degrees. So I'm just going to come back and show you what happened after a couple of weeks. So it's still connected, however it started to bend a bit and it probably means that there might be some micro leak as we can see down the side there. Now what I did, I went back to the original cap and I've redesigned it and decided to make two changes. Now, one of the changes is that I made it completely flat on the top, so it wasn't printed with any support, so it's got a cleaner finish, as we can see there. The other change, which isn't in this design, but will be in a future print, is that I'll use ABS plastic. So ABS has a melting point of over 200 degrees. However, it's a stronger material, and it won't soften quite as low as PLA, so we'll see less of that soften and mending that we're seeing in that piece there. So that's it for this piece. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the fact I was able to design something as functional as this to be able to make it watertight, then to be able to improve it and have it on the car and have it do it more I wanted. Now I've got a handful of other 3D printed car part videos that I want to do but I really really need input if people want to see certain things. If there are things that you've seen that you think oh that would look cool to see that printed and see how it works let me know I'll have a look if it looks like it would suit my car and suit what I'm using it for I'll do that. Now if you do want to see more of the videos that I'm making please hit the subscribe button please like the video and please share it out to your friends if you think they'd like it too. Please leave any comments in the comments section below and guys again thank you for watching.